हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट थ्योरी ऑफ एक्सचेंज रेट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्योरी एक्सचेंज रेट इज डिटरमिंड बाय डिमांड फॉर करेंसी एंड सप्लाई ऑफ करेंसी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्योरी एक्सचेंज रेट इज डिटरमिंड बाय डिमांड फॉर करेंसी एंड सप्लाई ऑफ करेंसी एंड डिमांड फॉर करेंसी अराइजेस फ्रॉम डेबिट साइड फॉर एग्जांपल इंपोर्ट for making payment of import we are creating demand for foreign currency and supply of currency generate from credit side for example export through export we are receiving foreign currency or we can say that through export supply of foreign currency is increasing in our country and according to this theory equilibrium exchange rate is established where demand for currency is equal to supply of currency Demand for currency is not always equal to supply. That's why our exchange rate fluctuates. For example, situation one. As we know, in case of surplus balance of payment, our exports are more than import. If our exports are more than import, that means other countries people need our currency for making payment for our product. It means our currency demand is increasing in foreign country. If our currency demand is increasing, that means value of our currency is increasing. For example, earlier one dollar was equal to seventy rupees, but as our currency demand increases, that's why now one dollar is equal to sixty rupees. So here you can see Indian rupees has appreciated, but USA dollar has depreciated. Second situation is deficit balance of payment. As we know, in case of deficit balance of payment. imports are more than exports if imports are more than exports that means we need foreign currency for making payment for our imports as a result demand for foreign currency will increase in our country as demand for foreign currency will increase as a result value of foreign currency will increase for example earlier 1 dollar was equal to 50 rupees now dollar demand has increased that's why 1 dollar become equal to 60 rupees so here you can see indian currency value has depreciated but usa currency value has appreciated now with the help of this diagram we will clearly understand this theory in this diagram on x axis we have quantities of foreign exchange and y axis we have rate of exchange dd is demand curve of currency ss is supply curve of currency e is equilibrium exchange rate because at e point currency demand is equal to currency supply and equilibrium exchange rate is 1 dollar is equal to 70 rupees now suppose exchange rate has increased from or to or 1 now 1 dollar is equal to 80 rupees now our currency has become expensive as our currency become expensive its demand reduces and supply increase now supply is more than demand obviously people will reduce demand of expensive currency we have excessive pk supply now because supply is more than demand that's why exchange rate will fall and we will come back to our equilibrium exchange rate e in other situation our exchange rate fall from or to or 2 Now one dollar is equal to sixty rupees. Now our currency is not so much expensive. That's why demand is more than supply because people are creating so much demand of inexpensive currency. And we have excessive P K K one demand. If demand is more than supply, that means exchange rate will increase, and we will come back to our e equilibrium point E, where demand for currency is equal to supply. So this will be called equilibrium exchange rate. So this is all about balance of payment theory of exchange rate. I think you got it, and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.